people are still concerned about flooding despite Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom's latest flood mitigation project. NBC Local 33 Shannon Hecht joins us in studio tonight. Shannon, what are they saying about this? Yeah, Carly, the mayor announced the widening of Ward Creek at Segan to reduce the backup of water. But the Meadow Lane subdivision residents say that water levels have been growing for years and they have their own ideas of why it's happening. For 35 years, Judy Collins has lived in the Meadow Lane area. This is now the second time she's had to clean up her home after flooding. At first we thought, well, it's just a one-time thing because it was you know, not really expected. But here we are again, five years later, and it's happened even deeper than it was before. She says it's costing her as much as it costs to buy the house to now fix it. With the proposed widening of Ward Creek, it will lower the water levels by an estimated two feet. That's the exact amount she had in her home in May, which was a few inches higher than she had in 2016. Her home doesn't completely fall within a floodplain. It was spotty before. It was like one, one time they came through and they said just the very corner of your property is in the line. Then the next time it wasn't in it at all. So it's just been each time a little different. Her neighbors say more of the creek needs to be cleared farther down. And they also believe with the rapid development in the Segan area, it has led to water runoff flooding into the surrounding neighborhoods. I'd like both things to be looked at, you know, and, and some solution offered for our neighborhood because we are just three little streets and we get forgotten about. Collins hopes to share her concerns at the next town hall the city hosts. In her announcement, Mayor Broom urged people to understand that the city is working hard to help reduce flooding in Baton Rouge. The Ward Creek widening project is funded through FEMA and will clear out a choke point on the creek under the Segan Bridge. Other neighborhoods in the area flooded for the first time in May and this should help prevent that in the future. Construction on that project is set to begin late next year. Carly.